Hey guys, it's Krishanti with Krishanti.com, bringing you weekly videos about psychic development and spiritual and personal growth. So if you like this topic, please hit the like button and subscribe because I do new videos every week and I would love to see you here. And this week's video is a continuation of a video I made a few years ago now about when people pop up in your dreams. And that was just a short little video, but it got so much attention. I was surprised. And someone recently asked me to just make another one to go into it in um, further detail. And so that's what this is about. Now, disclaimer here, my whole world is about psychic development. I learned how to be psychic. Everybody can. We just don't know it yet. The majority of us are, are just kind of coming into this and learning it. But um, it's something that can be taught. We only use a certain portion of our brain. So use more of it and voila, you're, you're psychic. You just have to learn how to work with it. Um, so I don't interpret dreams, but I do know a little bit of what happens to our consciousness when we're not fully grounded into our bodies. And when you're in the dream state, a couple of things are happening. You are either dealing with issues subconsciously and you're working things out. It's like therapy in the dream state. So you're just doing your thing, like figuring out solving problems and, and all that stuff in the, in your deep, you know, unconscious state and, or you're out of your body and you're traveling around the astral plane and it takes a little bit of time to tell the difference. But as far as when people pop up in your dream, what I've noticed is that when it's a mundane sort of banal, sort of fuzzy kind of, you remember something like, oh yes, you were in my dream. Um, yeah, we went and got frozen yogurt and it was great. That's probably more of a, a subconscious kind of working things out thing. And it can be it can be interesting. I remember I know I remember having dreams like this. Like I'll, I'll dream about somebody and then I'll see them the next day, and it's like okay, I was just working that out. That might have been a little bit of traveling around there too. But it, again, very not very like big deal ish. Kind of more subconscious uh, tra travel deep into the inner to to heal things and work things out. What a lot of people talked about in that video um, in the comments was when they have these experiences where it feels very real, like a loved one dies or someone you're really into. Um, you have this very vivid experience. And when the experiences are very clear, very, very vivid, and they feel like they're real, those are the ones that are probably more astral. Astral plane is like one veil away from ours. It's where souls go. Um, some of our souls, you know, in the dream state, will just hop over there and travel around and meet people and and reunite with loved ones that have passed on and get closure and, and all of that. And sometimes many of us on the spiritual path feel tired in the mornings. We feel like we've been studying all night and learning. And we do that too in the on the astral plane in the dream state. So again, the way to know if it's more like a real visitation with somebody is it, it feels real. It feels vivid. You'll probably have some profound emotions attached. One of the most extremely amazing dreams I ever had was when my mom visited me. She died when I was 15. I was 18, freshman in college. And we were together and she said, I won't be able to be at your high school graduation because I'll be up here. And she's pointing to the stars. She said, I'll be looking down. And she always would say to me, if I ever die, I'll watch over you. And um, cause she had cancer. So we never knew. And I woke up from that dream sobbing. I've never woken up from a dream crying like that. That was a real thing to me. That was a visitation. So that's one of the big things. Now, there are ways that you can try to work with the dream state. And they're very, very simple. One of the biggest things, and the only thing I'm gonna talk about in this video, because I don't really know any other way except for this one, to be honest with you, is to direct yourself 
before you go to bed. So you write it down like I intend to um, see this person and maybe to remember it. I want this dream to come to me at this time in the morning so I remember it when I wake up. And I learned this from my friend Deborah Katz. She's actually writing a book on remote viewing which should be out um, in this is 2021. If you're interested in learning about remote viewing and, and remote viewing in the dream state, check out Deborah's book because she does a lot of that. So what she does is she directs herself like I'm going to dream about this remote viewing target I'm gonna dream it at this time so that I remember it when I wake up. And then the minute you wake up, you write it down and it works. She's big into the remote viewing stuff and very successful at it. And then the other thing with that is to document, like write down these dreams, write down to validate to yourself like that this is real, this is tangible, this is important. And, um, you know, one other thing I want to speak to is that a lot of people made comments in that video too about having vivid dreams about people who aren't, haven't passed away, but people in this lifetime. And I mentioned in that video a client who would ha always see this guy she had a very, very strong connection with in the dream state. And they, the dreams felt real, like the two of them we're not connected in this lifetime in real life, but they were working things out. Like the both of them felt this, this, this magnetism towards each other, but for whatever reason, they were not, you know, going to do that in this lifetime. So she would have these, these visits with him in the dream state. And again, the way that she felt they were more than just dreams is that she felt they were so real, so vivid. Um, very much alive and vibrant as opposed to like a fuzzy dream like I mentioned before where those dreams that we all have where it's like oh you were there or we were at a party and you were sitting over there and then I went and got something to drink and you know what I mean it's like those regular dreams versus the, the profound um, intention setting is so powerful so you can also set an intention to be able to tell the difference just say like I'm going to be this person that knows when I'm having a processing dream for my, my mind and my, my consciousness, and when I'm having an astral, like real visitation dream with another person. And in time, you will be able to, to tell the difference. It's all so cool. And we go to sleep every night and have dreams. So we, we have all this, this um, territory to work with on a regular basis. Very, very fun. So um, before I go, I would love to hear your comments and your um, experiences, not so much comments. I want to hear more about your dreams and more about figuring things out and also those cool experiences that I love, like when you dream about somebody and then you see them the next day or they call you. I think that's so fun, like some of us kind of roam out into the future too, which we can do. I know this is kind of out there to talk about, but outside of this realm we're in this 3d dimension of the planet earth time is very different than what we think of now there really is no time it doesn't it doesn't work like in the linear style that we we think it does where we are now so um we can tap into the future and and go way back in the past and all that in the dream state so i think i rambled on enough um thank you so much if you want to check out more about psychic development I got a treasure trove of resources, some free and some paid, really good workshops, a free course if you sign up for the mailing list. That's over at krishanti.com. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.